Now let us solve some problems on proportion. So the first question here says that are the two ratios 25 grams is to 30 grams and 40 kilograms is to 48 kilograms in proportion. So let us just quickly recollect that two ratios are in proportion only and only when their lowest form or the lowest representation are same or we can find out or we can prove that they are equivalent ratios. So let us start with the first ratio which is 25 is to 30 which can be represented as 25 by 30. Now this is very simple we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5 that is 25 divided by 5 and 30 divided by 5. So what happens here is 25 by 5 gives us 5 and 30 by 5 gives us 6. So this ratio, the simplest form representation of this ratio is 5 is to 6. Now let us look at the other ratio which is 40 is to 48 or 40 by 48. Now what do we divide this by so that we can get the simplest form of this. So I can straight away see that we can straight away divide it by 4 first. So we say 40 divided by 4 and 48 divided by 4. So which gives us 4 tens are 40 and 12 are 48 or we get 10 by 12 but I can still reduce this further by dividing them by 2 okay so 2 times 5 is 10 and 2 times 6 is 12 so this we get 5 is to 6 in fact we could have divided both 40 and 48 straight away by 8 and we could have got 5 is to 6 so in both the cases we get the same ratios therefore these two ratios are ratios are in proportion which means that these two ratios are equal that is 25 is to 30 and 40 is to 48 let us look at another example are 30 40 45 and 60 in proportion now if you look at this the way in which we represent is that the first two terms form the first ratio and the second two terms form the second ratio that is the way we specify a proportion now we have to find out whether 30 is to 40 and 45 is to 60 are these two in proportion which means that are these two ratios same so we proceed in the first step to find out the simplest form of this ratio so 30 by 40 when we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 10 so we have 30 divided by 10 and 40 divided by 10 which would give us 3 by 4 or the simplest form of this is 3 is to 4 now let us look at the another ratio which is 45 is to 60 so we have 45 by 60 and we can divide them straight away by 15 right so both the numerators and denominators so 45 by 15 and 60 by 15 so 15 times 3 is 45 and 15 times 4 is 60 so I get 3 is to 4 and we can see that these two ratios are same therefore we can say that 30 is to 40 is in proportion with 45 is to 60 or we say that these ratios are in proportion because they are equal now let us look at one more example so we say do the ratios of 15 centimeter to 2 meter and 10 seconds to 3 minutes form a proportion so now we have to find out two ratios here 
so one ratio is 15 centimeter is to 2 meter and 10 seconds is to 3 minutes now one thing which we have to understand before we find a ratio is that we must have both the quantities in same units so here we have 15 centimeter and 2 meter so we need to convert this meter into centimeter so 1 meter equals 100 centimeter so therefore we have this as 15 is to 2 into 100 because 1 centimeter is 1 meter equals 100 centimeter therefore we have 15 is to 200 now we proceed to find a simple form of this so we have 15 by 200 and when I divide both of these by 5 that is the numerator and denominator are divided by 5 we have 3 times or 5 times 3 is 15 and 5 times 40 is 200 or this ratio comes down to 3 is to 40 now let us look at 10 seconds 3 minutes but again here we know that both of these quantities are in different units one is in seconds another is in minutes so what we will do is we'll convert the minutes into seconds which will make our task of computing this easier so one minute has 60 seconds therefore the ratio becomes 10 is to 3 into 60 which is 10 is to 180 or when we proceed to calculate its simple form so we have 10 by 180 now what happens when we reduce these to its simple form so we have 1 by 18 or 1 is to 18 now as we can clearly see that these two are not equal right we see that the simplest form of both of these ratios they are not equal therefore therefore the ratios 15 is to 200 is not equal to is not equal to 10 is to 180 so they are not in a proportion not in proportion that is what we can solve so this was a problem in which we were given ratios in different units so we converted both the quantities we converted the other quantity in such a way that we get the same unit we computed the ratio and then we found out whether they are equivalent or not and upon finding that the two simplest representations of this ratios they are not equal we conclude that these ratios are not in proportion